Sam, after coming off the injury, do you think camp has gone even better than expected for you? Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, I think game so far has been uh, uh, have been feeling good, and I feel like I've came into them in a good way and had like uh, my, my my game is at a point that maybe a little bit further ahead than what I thought it would be, but I know it's probably going to be. If it, if it's not that hard now, it's gonna come a point uh, where it's gonna be a dip. So I just kind of gotta prepare for it and, and, and be able to handle it when it comes. Sam, we uh, we just talked to John Tortorella. He confirmed that the main group today are the guys that so far kind of have a leg up on on maybe making the team. With everything you went through last year, how did it feel this morning when you came in and saw your name on that main group? Obviously, it's uh, it's a good feeling that they uh, kind of like what you what you've been doing and uh, what they see so but at the same point I, I'm in no rush uh, I know that even if I don't make uh, the team right now like right away it's it's I'm in no rush I have a lot of time at two years more on uh, my entry level and it's uh, I gotta come back from this injury in a, in a good way, way and I gotta play a lot of games this year so that's my main goal. Sam, has it been tough uh, to, to come in in the third period? Is it, like that, you don't do that often, so is that like an adjustment? Yeah, a little bit. It's uh, it's hard. You gotta you kind of space out a little bit on the bench there sometimes. So you gotta remind yourself that oh hey, I'm I'm coming in in, in a few periods. So, but at the same time, it's a good challenge for you. You gotta you gotta be able to handle those situations during the season too. If you come in in the middle of a game. You mentioned that you know you know you have to play a lot of games this year, and you know if you don't make the team, it's not the end of the world. You have time, but you know was your mentality coming into camp that you wanted to win a spot, or was your mentality more just that I'm just happy to be playing again after the way last year went? Obviously, like main thing was just get back and be healthy. Uh, I think yeah, and then obviously you go in and try to make the best impression you can make. Uh, it's not that I'm going in here and taking a back seat. No, I, I want to prove myself and uh, prove what I can do for, for the for the management and uh, for the coaches. Some of the coaches and players said that you look really composed and you don't get flustered. Is that something you've always had since you were young or is it just coming along as a process? I think you uh, that comes along a little bit along the way. You, you have to learn uh, how to handle different situations and and the different uh, in different games it's uh, it's always different situations and challenges that come up, so it's something that you kind of get more as you mature and get older. Can you talk about your relationship with Felix Sandstrom? Uh, how long you've known him, and do you guys hang out in the summer in Sweden? Or yeah, we were neighbors back home in Sweden, so we we were pretty. No, we have a great relationship. I I practiced with him this summer back home and. I mean, he's he's been uh, helping me a lot through this process when I was injured. Kind of someone how, that you could talk to and uh, y y just get some things off your chest. Someone knows what you're going through. So he's been great help for me, uh, like ever since I got here. How long have you guys been neighbors? Uh, a <laughs> little over two years. So uh, it was it was pretty funny. Like we didn't like I didn't realize I moved in next to him right away it took me a couple months and then I just kept seeing him around so I <laughs> realized afterwards is it house apartment or uh, it's an apartment building so but he's uh, just uh, down, the, down the door kind of uh, jumping off to, to Carter Hart um, you your style in net is kind of that that calm you know very focused on being in the right position that's sort of Carter's MO as well do you find yourself, you know, watching him to maybe not necessarily to get pointers, but just kind of to, to to make adjustments to your game and kind of learn from from what he's done to succeed in the NHL? Oh, definitely. I mean, he's a top level uh, goaltender, and uh, obviously we we work uh, with the same goalie coaches, and it's kind of we work on the same stuff uh, during the practices. So it's not that weird that we have uh, a similar styles, uh, but uh, I mean, he he has a lot of he's very high level on a lot of technical stuff and you try to pick something off all the good goalies you see uh, in the NHL. What would you say has been the biggest challenge for you this off season now that you've been over here for um, a season and kind of know 
the differences between the big ice and the smaller ice, and then also maybe your thoughts on the different kinds of goalie styles, whereas European goalies are more like blockers, don't really use their glove. Um, how have you adjusted your game this summer you know, for that? Uh, I, maybe this summer was uh, more just getting back on ice. I didn't do, I got on ice pretty late, but uh, Obviously, a little bit like, like you say, it's it's a bit more blocking style back home, and uh, I kind of like. I think I've always been a little bit like I like more the athletic goalies. Those are the goalies that that are fun to watch. The Vasilevskis of the world that you kind of like. I wish I could play like that, but uh, obviously you you have to be able. Things happen so much faster around here. Place around the net, uh, it's a, a, a much higher tempo, so you have to be able to have that athletic side of your game. Uh, but it's a it's a it's a balance be, between being uh, in control and also being able to make those big saves at the right moments. Growing up was I assume Lundqvist was a guy who you looked up to, or was there somebody else? Uh, yeah, Lundqvist, of course, but he, he has a pretty unique style of uh, goaltending, so it's, it's kind of hard to play like that. I think yeah, uh, a lot of goalies, like Car uh, Carey Price, is kind of has for a long period of time when I grew up was kind of like the model. This is how if you can, so you're supposed to play, and that was the composed style, uh, very good technically, and, and just making things look easy. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.